Hi everyone and welcome to this new episode in Unreal Engine 4 Tutorials. This episode we're talking about fall damage and how we can make uh, fall damage work in Unreal. So a little bit of setup I've done prior to starting the film. I've set up a basic environment here. I've got three different heights. Um, I made little teleport pads to get me up there so I can just jump up and fall off. Uh, as you can see I've also set up a HUD with a basic health bar on it. And I might as well show you how I've done damage stuff as well. So on my player character, I've got a event any damage happening, which does a simple uh, variable of player health and taking away a value from there. And then on my HUD, I've say I've just got a progress bar. And in my graph, I've got a basic setup of getting the player's character and getting their player health and setting the health bar to that value. Um, that value must be normalized by the way, between zero and one. Health, you should always try and make health zero to one if you can, uh, as best you can anyway. And then I also have a bind event on take any damage. Uh, so you can bind, when you when you receive damage, you can bind something else to it. And that binding here goes update health, which just updates the health bar with a new percent by taking away the damage done to it. Pretty simple. If you want to see a more detailed breakdown of how to set up this bind and make it as simplistic as possible, uh, let us know in the comments below and uh, I'll set up a video if that is something people, people want to see. So that's the basic premise. Uh, so we're going to go through the process of actually setting up the full damage. So this all happens on the first person character and there's an event called on landed. So just search for on landed and on landed triggers whenever you land. So for example, if we put in a print string, it says hello. Compile that and push play. Every time I jump, I'll land and it says hello. Okay, pretty simple. Now I want to get the speed that the player is falling at because uh, based on their height, they'll be running going faster. So the faster they're going, the more damage that'll be done. So let's get their velocity, which is their speed and direction. But we just want to worry about the speed. And more particularly, we want the speed in the z-axis, so their falling speed. So if I take this return value here and split this, I can get the z-axis, which is this one here at the bottom, and I can output that to my print string so you can see what it says. So push and play, I can jump, and you can see that it says minus 432 for a jump, minus 429, minus 429, and so forth. And if I go to the top and fall off, minus 1136 and so on and so forth. So that's the first one and the tallest one is minus 1675. So the reason why it's a negative value is because we're going down. So a downwards motion is a negative value. So first things first, we need to make it positive. So the easy way of doing that is taking the Z value and doing absolute. So do abs, ABS, and you see absolute. And that now is a positive value, which we can quickly demonstrate like so. Okay, so now it's a positive value. With that in mind, we can now work on working out how much damage you should do. Now, remember the health is a value between zero and one. So one being full health, zero being no health. So we need to normalize the full damage to a normal normalized value, which is a value between zero and one. So from the abs, do normalize to range and the value will be the abs and then the mi range minimum is the minimum amount before it starts dealing damage so that smallest height was about 1100 i wanted to do a small amount of damage there so i'm going to do a minimum value here of 1000 and then my range max is going to be the upper limit of what would just outright kill the player so we could say, for example, the tallest one there is going to kill the player outright. So that was 1,600 and something. So if we do a range max of 1,600, anything above 1,600 will kill the player because it's going to output 1. So let's plug that in now and see those values in action. Now, it's important to note that that normalized range will trigger for everything. So even a jump will output a negative value of 0.95. It's negative because it's lower than the uh, minimum, which is making it less than zero. But if I go to the top here of this uh, lowest uh, full distance, 
You can see it's going to deal 0.2 damage to me. So a fifth of my health is going to be lost there. But if I fall off the top one, the top one is going to take away 1.1 of my health, which is over the full amount. So I don't want the health to be depleted or affected if you're jumping. So we need to clamp the value so it doesn't deal damage unless we're falling in this range here. So take this return value and clamp it with a clamp float. And we can leave the minimum at zero and maximum at one. And this just basically says if the value is below uh, zero, make it zero. If it's above one, make it one. So it clamps it to that range. So now when I'm jumping, it outputs zero. When I fall off here, it output 0.2. And if I fall off the top one, it will output the value of one. So that's all fine and dandy. So that's all set up. All that's left to do is make it apply damage. So I'm gonna get rid of this print string now. And on the landed, we're gonna do apply damage. And the damage actor is itself, so we're going to damage itself. And the base damage is going to be this return value. And if you want to do instigators and damage causes, you're more than welcome to. So if you want to make a certain sound effect, that's where you set up things like that. Or you could do it on here, wherever you like. It's up to you how you do this. But that's the minimum that you need. That will get fed through this event here, which will deal with damage to the player's health value. Um, and then that will trigger the bound event in the HUD which tells it to update the health bar. So it takes the percentage of the health bar and takes away the damage. So the damage, for example, in the lowest one is 0.2, the percent bar will lose 0.2 of its percent. And, re uh, uh, and then reapply it to the set percent bar on the health progress bar. And that is it. So to show this working, if I jump, there's no damage. If I fall off the lowest one, I get a little bit of damage. And if I fall off the top one, it will take all the damage and show the middle one. So off the middle one, and you can see it doesn't kill me, but it takes away a lot of damage. And that's it. And that's how we set up full damage. If you've liked this video and want to support me, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey, where a donation of just $1 a month will get access to all the videos early before anyone else, as well as many other benefits as well. Big thank you to all of my patrons for their continued support. This will not be possible without you guys, so thank you so much. If you like what I do, please hit that, that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. And if you have any suggestions or questions of uh, about this video um, or suggestions for future content, leave a comment below and uh, it will be read and taken on board. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.